All right, um, today I'm going to show you how to do some heat embossing with the help of Versamark and our regular colored inks. So you don't have to um, miss out on the embossing powder colors that we may not carry. You can create your own colors. Well, let me get started by stamping the tree first. See, I'm using my early espresso for the tree trunk. And let, with the stamparatus. So then, I of course want this to be completely dry so my ink doesn't stick to anything else. While that is hopefully drying, a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to align my topper because that's a two-step stamp set and I'm going to stamp this part in the the embossing step which I'm going to use the Versamark like I said but I'm also going to use the pumpkin pie and maybe a little bit of Cajun craze over it. So it's in the right spot I'm going to use my embossing buddy to make sure that my tree is not grabbing the powder. And yeah, you can see my image over here. Let me scoot my um, stamparatus over just a little bit. Then I'm going to ink up my stamp in Versa Mark first. make sure that this is really good and moist. I also have my clear embossing powder ready so I can quickly do this last step which would be getting the embossing powder on it. Alright so really nice and moist then I'm gonna use the pumpkin pie and then I'm just gonna spot some in the Cajun craze. I'm gonna stamp this on here and I'm going to dip the embossing powder and you can see that the embossing powder is sticking to it really well. Remove this out of the way. and bring my heat gun in. it's nice and sparkly. I'm gonna wiggle it a little bit so you can hopefully see it. And I'm also going to post a close-up on the blog and on Facebook. But you can see that it embossed really well and it's raised and it's shiny and um, it's awesome. You can emboss with all of our ink colors. So keep that in mind and give it a try. Thanks for watching.